Alec Baldwin is a schmuck, a jadrool, a chooch, an idiot, a very talented person who could have done so many things, but that's beside the point. But I had to bring this up to your attention. He's a schmuck, absolutely gone, gassed. Now, a couple of things. We're going to talk about him and Charo, his wife. I don't even know where to start with this, but I just like to point out things that are so obviously obvious that you wonder, how do people do this? How do people think they can do things and get away with it? First, Alec Baldwin has hit the skids. I'm telling you, whatever happened with that Russ case, I do not believe he is criminally liable, criminally liable for any kind of manslaughter, uh, for something that happened on the set of a movie, okay? Civilly liable, or his production company, absolutely. Ab it's almost res ipsa loquitur. Res ipsa loquitur means the fact speaks for itself. It normally is uh, a situation where negligence is presumed, you know, if a plane falls out of the sky, if a safe falls out of a building, and if somebody is shot, you know, during the movie, you almost can say the thing speaks for itself, and I don't want to go into the finer points of negligence law, but criminally, no, no way, no way, no, no. This wasn't a guy at a party playing with a gun. That being said, he's a schmuck. He is being led down the primrose path by this wife of his, Ilaria Charo, who claims not to speak English. We'll get to this in a moment. This guy is my age exactly. He's part of the 1958 club, all right? Me, Madonna, uh, Prince, Michael Jackson, Angela Bassett, a whole bunch of us. 1958, okay? And the last thing this wants is, the guy wants is 15 kids. And he's got to sit around and you see the look on his face like, oh, shit. Oh, God, I got to do this. What the hell am I doing? You know, kids are great, but it's like, enough. Come on, how many? And she's doing the yoga. Thing. Remember the yoga? She was always bending over. She's bending down, bending over. I put my leg behind my head. Enough with this. Can't, can't you see? I mean, can't you see what that woman's been doing to me? I think Toy Caldwell and Marshall Tucker said it best. But that's not the best part. The best part still is, in the annals of you've got to be kidding me, this is a woman who claims that she was born in someplace else and, and that she speaks Spanish and that she speaks with an accent and then all of a sudden decides when she's on some show to talk about the cucumber, to say, to me, I think it's the guy to make the cucumber. I say, wait a minute, what is this? I'm Hilaria Baldwin. I speak it from Spanish. What? That means you've got to do this for the rest of your life. Let me say this again. You've got to speak in this language, in this accent, for the rest of your life. You don't just all of a sudden recover, so to speak, as though it's not an illness, but you don't just all of a sudden speak without an accent. you got to be kidding me. And he must be thinking, what are you doing? Because she's so desperate. She's like the Meghan Markle. You know what I mean? She's desperate to make some kind of a name for herself, even though it's preposterous, even though it makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. And it goes back to the fact that he's a schmuck. And if the truth be told, for such a tough guy who loves to batter people and slap them, he's basically whipped because how anybody would have gone along with this, because you know and I know, they've been talking about this for years, and she's been wanting to do this this, you know, reality show forever. And as, you know, you get older and the leading man parts don't necessarily come, not to mention you are universally despised. Why do I say this? Point number what? You, I hope you're keeping track of this. Imagine if Ron Howard were the case here versus uh, Alec Baldwin. Imagine if it was Clint Eastwood or Ron Howard or... Or, or, or uh, Quentin Tarantino, or anybody else. People would be coming out of the woodwork to help him. They'd be coming forward and saying, you don't understand during the course of a movie. Of course you have a, a weapon. Of course you handle it. Of course you do this. Of course. What are you talking about? Yes. And you would have expert witness after expert witness coming to help somebody that they really liked, like Ron Howard. Or Tarantino, maybe. Or, or anybody else. Even De Niro. But nobody said anything because they can't stand that guy. Because he's a, as Ilaria might call him, a culo. He's a, he's a come mierda, as we call him in West Tampa. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a, he's a uh. even that business, look at, look at how, how well and how fine-tuned the 
Trump accents are or imitations. There's this one feller on uh, SNL, young guy, great. My God, he does Trump better than Trump with voices and expressions. And what did Alex do? He came out, looks like he's trying to blow his nose or to clear his not. I mean, he, he, he looked like this, this bilious bombast, which he is. It was the worst imitation ever. And uh, 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 I mean, I, I, he's very talented. He's very, he does great mimicry. He, he, he's, he, he's had his moment, but something happened to him. He lost it like his mind. <clears throat> and I still say, if you're going to do something, look, if you want to pretend you have a limp, fine. Do what the old uh, Intel guys used to do, or actors. You put a little pebble or something in your shoe, and you'll always have a limp. You'll always be able to, you'll never forget it. But if you're going to talk like this for the rest of your life, after you've been called out of all the things in the world, to even be, that you're going to try an accent, and you're going to claim this lineage and your provenance. Anyway, that's over there. She wants... She's Meghan Markle. She wants to be the reality shows. Reality shows are over. It's done. By the way, don't forget who was one of the first, one of the most primary, uh, the most leading uh, exemplars of that. And it wasn't the Kardashians. It was Victoria Gotti. Remember growing up Gotti? That was more, that was really something. And by the way, we can also go back to notion of candid camera and reality. I mean, there's nothing really new to this. But I, I, I just have to tell you this. I find that Alec Baldwin, remember his horrible shows, his interview shows at MSDNC? Oh, my God. Who did he, he interviewed? Uh, uh, de Blasio from New York? I think his first... I, it, it's this obscure actress, not Deborah Winger or somebody. I don't even know who the hell she is. He like is, what do you, who told him he was interesting? He would do these things on NPR. I don't know where, what did you think this is? Who is going to listen to you? Why did, and he's a great actor, very good mimic. He did, he does Pacino well. He does a lot of other people well. He does Tony Bennett. He's really good. He's a good actor. Once you, you get him in, into being the class A prick, which, of course, he's nobody better because he's not even acting. But I just, I, I, I guess maybe it's schadenfreude, Weltschmerz, uh, Sitzfleisch, uh, uh, Witzel sucht. I don't know. Uh, you, 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 predict your, you, you pick your particular uh, a German version of this. But, but I, I, I just look at him and say, you're such a schmuck. What are you doing? Who... And just, I'm just gonna leave you with this. Just, just, just remember this. Just to show you what Hollywood thinks of him. Ask yourself, if it were Ron Howard on trial for something, you, I mean, it would have never even been considered. But Hollywood basically said to the prosecutor, "You know what? Do what you got to do. Think about this. Why? Because Alec Baldwin is a schmuck. All right. Let it be known." Uh, do me a favor, <laughs> dear friend, please uh, uh, like the video and you know all that rest of stuff and a uh, comment. I want to hear what you think. You agree with me? Tell me. I'll be reading your comments very carefully. Now comment as you see fit.